Okay, step right up. Come on, you know. Time to do Mechrio time. Come the inside to Mechrio Park. Do the Mario time. Do 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 Come down, down to Mechrio. Go on inside. We've got the Death Star. Come to see the Toad. All right, hi everyone. Happy Martin, or as it's also known as Mario Day, because March tenth, M A R one zero, which kind of looks like Mario for the uninitiated. So let me just uh, get rid of this video, and I welcome you to the Mario Ten special stream. I kind of feel like doing some Mario tonight. Or as Vinny puts it, Mechio! Uh, where's the video? I've got my... I'm very unorganised when it comes to doing this shit. Right, there we go. Just get rid of that. I should highlight that on my OBS so I, I know what that is for the future. Right, there we go. One thing I like about OBS is that you can sort, like, the different elements with, like, a colour highlight so that you know where it is or it's easier to find because I've got, like, a million... It doesn't look like it, but I've got a million elements on my current OBS scene. I, I don't organise my stuff very well. Anyways, I figure we'd start something really interesting, and I was trying to figure out what's a good way to, like, celebrate Mario Day. And I figure, well, I recently got this EverDrive, and... Right here is a bunch of ROM hacks by Kazi Emanuar. You might have heard of him. He's a guy that is uh, quite infamous for making a lot of really well-made uh, Mario 64 ROM hacks. I've checked some of them out in the past. I mainly checked out Mario 64 online like about two years ago. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but yeah, that was quite fun. I think I also checked out Super Fidget Spinner. That's not in this collection because I checked that at one point. But uh, yeah, this is like almost every single ROM hack that this one guy has made over the course of, I don't know, like the past few years. And we're just going to go in alphabetical order. And I don't know if all of these will, are going to work. If they don't, I'm going to use an emulator as backup. But I think most of these will work just fine on actual hardware. So we're going to start with Battle Royale. So let's get started. Let me change the audio settings before we get started. Right, there we go. So first up, Battle Royale. Let's see what this is about. Oh, well, that's... Oh, hang on a second. That's not... What the hell is going on? I saw, I saw the logo there, but the picture is kind of like fucked up. Hang on, let me restart that. Well, that, we're off to a good start with this. Yeah, I'm not even sure if this works with the... Let's see. I don't know why it's doing that. Again, I do have an emulator for backup, so if it doesn't work here, we'll just use an emulator, but... Let me try troubleshooting this real quick. My N64 sitting next to me, by the way, so if you hear clicking, that's just me turning on and off the system. Uh, how do I do it? Press the A button and... I don't know if it... I don't know what's going on, like, why the picture's all funny. Like, maybe it's booting up in a certain video format and it's not, like, displaying correctly. That's, that's weird. Right, okay then, so a false game and it's already not working, so I'm gonna have to bring up the emulator, so just give me one second. And we will do that. So yeah, like I said, I've got a backup plan, just in case things are not working as as you would expect, so give me one second to get this prepped, it shouldn't take more than a minute, probably a little bit less than that. So how's everyone doing today? How have you spent your Mario day? Been up to much? Been playing any games? Right, okay. It's a me, Maddie. Uh, hang on a minute, I, d I didn't capture that there. I would like to capture it before we start. Uno momento, por favor. I can't speak. I, ca I can't speak in any language, let alone English. Right here we go. Let's see if this works now. Right, you guys should see that now, I think. Yep, right, there we go. So here's Battle Royale. 
Oh, I get it. It's it's like Fortnite. So so it's just okay. That's kind of cool. Wow, there is a lot of stuff in the distance. Okay, so maybe this couldn't work on actual hardware because there's like a million things in the distance. I don't think the draw distance was ever this like big in the original Mario 64. So I I. I don't know what's going on exactly, like, am I fighting against other people or am I just doing shit? Well, I'm dead now. I'm dead, Jim. Right, so I saw one star, I'm gonna try going for that, I guess... And I'm not sure what the end goal is here, but I'm guessing just collect stars might just be the end goal. What was that star that I saw? There is. Yeah, I'm gonna land there, grab that star, and then see what else I can find. Here we go. Okay, so how the fuck did I get down from here? Oh, there we go. So yeah, this, I, I'm pr like 99% sure this would not run on actual hardware given how much is like on the screen at once. Wait, like, if this could run on N64 hardware, it'd probably run at like fucking 2 frames per second. Because of how much stuff. I mean, I mean look at this shot right here, like, look at all the stuff that's like around me. So essentially they've just like taken all the, the worlds from the different games and just stitched them into like one big map. That's kind of cool. But, um, oh. Ah, shit. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll go to Womp's Fortress and then we'll... I don't know, I guess I'll go over to Tiny Big Island afterwards. We'll see if we can, like, go from one place to another. Oh. That was weird. Did you see that weird jump cut there, or the... Oh, there's Peach's castle. Yeah, let's grab that star, I guess. Also, I still have the first star that was there before. I don't know how many stars there are in this thing. I don't think it's 120. Let's see if we can get uh, five stars before we move on to the next thing, so... Let's go down this way. Right, so there's Bob on Battlefield, or at least part of it. So yeah, this, kind of, this is kind of weird. This is a very... I've never heard of most of these. Like, I, I know about the guy that's made these ROM hacks, but I've not seen most of his projects. I've only like seen some of the like more famous ones. Again, like Mario 64 Online. This is my first time seeing this, and on a technical level, this is actually really impressive. Also, I think see Peach's secret slide over there. Let's see if I can shoot myself up to Peach's secret slide, which is just hovering in midair. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> so I want to shoot myself up there, maybe. Uh oh. Ah, fuck. I tried. It's really difficult to judge, like, where to aim yourself with the cannons in this. I'm gonna try going to the, the desert land then. What's this place called again? Dry Dry Desert? Something like that. Okay, I think I kinda see how this is working now. It's like... As you go to different areas, it loads, like, different parts of the map, because it keeps, like, the camera keeps jumping for a minute and then the music changes, so... While the map looks gigantic, you're actually playing a smaller segment of the map, if that makes sense. Shifting Sandland, yeah, that's what it's called. What is, what is Dry Dry Desert then? Is that from Mario Kart? Oh shit! Fuck it. I guess we'll stay here then. 
Also, I guess it makes sense to have Shifting Sandland and Lethal Lava Land next to each other because they share the same music. What is that? Nanny? What, 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 what am I looking at? Why is there a white coin? And why is it a physical, like, obstacle? So yeah, the plan was to play all of these ROM hacks on the EverDrive, but given the nature of the very first game that I played, I've got a feeling that most of these games will not work on the EverDrive. But I'll try. I'll try, I'll try them on EverDrive first, and if they don't work, I'll use an emulator instead. Because I always had that backup plan in mind, just in case things weren't going to pan out for the EverDrive. What? Oh, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, get a camera? I didn't even know that was under there. Okay then. I wonder if the boss fight is still here. That doesn't even work. Yeah, earthquake graphics. Okay, so I don't think everything is loaded in correctly just because of how this works, so... I don't think it's fully playable as is, but... It's still kind of a cool concept, nice little proof of concept, rather. Right, before I move on to the next one, I think I'm gonna try getting into that area where the boss fight is. If I can even get in there. Um... Shit. I'm gonna try triple jumping over there because I can't claim those ladders or the, the poles. So I'm just gonna try triple jumping up to this one spot, see if that works. Yeah. Trying to triple jump from a small area is kinda hard. Fuck it. I'll see if I can find something else to go up. Because I certainly can't get up there. I'm not skilled enough. Oh, the sand doesn't even work. It's, it's just solid ground. Oh, I see. Okay. I, I could maybe just do this instead. Is the boss even, like, is the entrance to the boss even there? I don't think it is. No, it's not even there. Okay then. But right, we'll just try getting to the top of this pyramid and then we'll stop. And then I'll check out the next game. Let me turn the, the volume up just a tiny bit, actually. Hang on. There we go. I wonder what Vinny's gonna do for Mario Day because, oh shit. I guess they removed some of those, like, moving platforms. Right, okay, I'm done with this, but, um, what happens if I go to exit course? Oh, I go back into the castle. Also, the camera's kinda weird. Why, why is the camera pulled out like that? Oh, there we go, that's why. I'm kinda wondering if the levels are normal here. Let me try... Wait... What did that say? Okay, what's wrong with this image? It takes the power of three stars to open this door. You need three more stars. 
I, I, I had three stars though, what the fuck? Can, can I... What, what happens if I go into the bomb battlefield? Does that just take me back to the Battle Royale map? Oh no, it's just Bob on Battlefield. Right, okay then. Right, okay then. Uh, let me just get rid of uh, this. And now let's try the next one on the N64. So let me just uh, cancel that. Next one, capture the flag. I don't know if this is a multiplayer thing. But let's try it real quick, see what this is like. Oh god damn it. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get these working on the Everdrive, because it doesn't seem like it wants to work. Right, before I do that on the the emulator, let me just try the next one real quick on the Everdrive, just to see if it works. I may have to do all of these on emulator. Yeah. These don't seem to be working properly on this, unfortunately. Right, so... In the interest of uh, keeping with time and like making things moving along, I think I'm just going to say fuck it to the EverDrive and just use the emulator for the rest of these because I, I, I don't know what Kazi Amenuar has done, but I think all these games are designed just for emulators only because I can't seem to get them to work on my EverDrive. So yeah, sorry about that. It's not exactly what I planned, but whatever. But let me um, get the next game up and running and we'll do that. Okay, so then, let's see. Let me just get this set up on my end. Right, so let's do Capture the Flag next. Give me one second. Oops. Sorry. You don't, you don't see anything, but I'm just uh, making sure everything's working before we get going. It's me, Mario. Right, so here we go, Capture the Flag. Right, so I think I'm red team, it seems like, because it says red and blue, and I've got red around me. This might- I wonder if this is something that you use, like, the Net64 Online multiplayer thing for? Kind of like Mario 64 Online? Right, so there's my base, there's my flag. So yeah, this might be a multiplayer-specific thing, but I couldn't tell you. If it is, then I'll just like move on to the next thing because there isn't much I can do right now, like a single player. Um, but I thought it touched that. Alright, well, like, I couldn't pick up the flag. Am I missing something? Maybe the flag is, like, on the other side. Oh yeah, it is. I'm not sure what that blue flag sticking out the side was, though, but whatever. Wait, why am I losing health? Yeah, I don't get this. Am I missing something? Does anyone know? Mamma mia. Oh yeah, let me get rid of the, this as well since we're not using the capture card anymore. Right, okay then, so I, I don't get that one. Maybe you have to like play multiplayer online with that one, so... Let's uh, load up the next one. Give me one second. Next one is called Doki Doki Mario 64, so I'm guessing this is based off of Super Mario Bros. 2 slash Doki Doki Panic. It's me, Mario. I like that logo. I don't know if you caught that there. Oh no, is this fucking Doko Doki Doki Literature Club? Come on. That's not the Doki Doki I like. After school, most of the guys that are still around are creeps and trying to get closer to the girls in the club rooms. 
You should try to avoid talking to people if you don't want to have lose faith in humanity just yet. Uh, before we continue, let me move this over so I can read that properly. Sorry, the chat window was partially obscuring the text box. Also, I'm going to turn that audio back down a tiny bit. It sounds like a fucking... Like, this music sounds like one of those parody video game musics. What do you call them again? Like, Sylvia Gunner or some shit like that? All these boys are just after the cute girls. Real men don't just care about the outside. I'm... I'm a true nice guy and I don't know what really counts as a girl. Somehow every girl still thinks I'm an asshole though. This world is so unfair and twisted, girls should honestly just die. Okay then. That cool story, bro. Hey fatty, did you talk talk to me for your daily dose of humor? My jokes will crack you up! Uh what if I say no? Oh, okay then let me say yes. High quality rips. Yeah. Oh wait a minute, can I can I talk to him again? Okay, well, well I can't talk to him anymore, so Oh shit. Mario, please. Okay, hang on a second. Uh how do I reset this? I'm gonna reset that again just so I can see just so that I can see what happens if I say yes. Because for some reason, if I say no, I just can't talk to him again. Ah oh, shit, I pressed the wrong button. I think I pressed B there, not A. It's me, Mario. Yeah. Or did I? No? Okay then. Well, it doesn't matter which button I press, it does nothing. Which button or which option I highlight. Let's see what's behind the school then. I'm assuming this is Doki Doki Literature Club, which I don't know anything about other than it's like a... It's one of those... Let's just say clickbaity YouTube bait sort of things, you know? Like something that people on YouTube make videos about. I mean, like Game 3 made 500 fucking episodes about it. Oh, Senpai, how are you? Beautiful day, isn't it? I hope you're living each day to the fullest and not wasting it sitting around and posting memes all day. Outdoors and exercise is the best, don't you agree? <laughs> Look at your phone. Yeah, no, no thanks. I'm just going to continue shit posting, thank you. What's that say? It says in loving memory of something, but I can't quite make out the rest of that. In memory of something, something, something. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what that says. I think I see the word Koopa, but that's about it. Hey, I collected pictures of all the girls. I'm searching for nudes of all the anime club presidents. Oh god. She's been sending some around and I just can't find any of them. I'll trade you a picture for the bully girl taken in the girls' clothing room. Deal? No deal. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like this from a hack. <laughs> Buy witch gift for three stars. Run shoes, bento box, use star flower. Pa pa Painkillers? Eye drops. Paint pot, pe pink bow. Play button, hall pass. Sit. Cyan cyanide and then sauce. How the fuck do I get stars in this? Does anyone know? You're not going to understand 90% of this hack because I believe most of the stuff are references or closer representations to the original game. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I'll play this for a couple more minutes and then we'll move on. This path leads to the star fields. Pluck some stars and gift them to your favourite girl. After you found one, press the L button to pull it out and hand it to her. Okay then. Right, well I guess I found out where the stars are, so let's get a couple stars, let's see if I can get three. 
and then buy something. This is a cool remix of the Mario World Athletic theme. Right, there's one. And there's two. Oops. Ah, fuck. At least I don't lose any health. It's infinite health in this ROM hack. Aren't you one of those middle school creeps? Shush off! Nah, I thought there would be a star underneath that box. Must be one more star around here somewhere. There it is. Oh, shit. Are you are you kidding me? For some reason I pressed the L button there, which made me drop that. Oh. Okay then, well, can, can I just put that back away? Okay, so where was the entrance again? Uh, before we continue, let me just make sure the video isn't cropped out. Right, okay. Just want to make sure you guys can see everything without, like, parts of it being, like, cut out. Yeah, you know what? I'm getting bored of this one. Let's just move on. Oh, shit. <laughs> Knocked my controller off my leg. Good. Quality streams. Even more quality than Vinny's. Right, okay, I'm gonna have to restart that then, because my controller disconnected when I knocked it off my leg. Right, okay then, so before we continue, I just need to make sure I get this set up correctly, because I... I'm, I'm not, let's just say I'm not the most prepared when it comes to getting stuff like this ready, so you'll have to bear with me a minute. Let's see, load content, downloads... Right, okay. Right, next one is, I think it's called Mario 64 in first person. I think I've checked this one out at some point, but I forgot. It's me, Mario! Hello! Okie dokie! So yeah, I think I have seen this actually. I don't know if I streamed this at some point, but I have checked this one out. It's essentially Mario 64, but in first person, as the name suggests. God, could you imagine fucking playing this on like an Oculus Rift? You get fucking sick really fast. Thank god the camera doesn't fucking rotate when you triple jump, like could you imagine that? Like you get, you, you would get vertical by doing that. Oh, so it's kind of hard to, like, stay still. Like, when you're when you're turning, like, the turning sensitivity is very high. It's kind of hard to, like, stay straight, if that makes sense. So I keep, like, swerving back and forth. 
Oh. Well, I guess you could say this puts a whole new perspective into Mario 64. Her dee her her. I'm gonna go for the easiest star, I guess. Someone has done that, really? Nice. Somehow I... Sometimes I struggle doing that without first person, and yet yeah, I did it in first person with not very much trouble at all. So yeah, that was weird. Watch me miss this though, because I can't, like, turn Mario's angle correctly. Trust me when I say this is harder than it looks. Like, trying to keep Mario facing the right direction. What the fuck? Mario, please. And then the camera fucks up. Oh, I see that the C buttons can be used to look around. Although... That's weird, like, the, the x-axis is inverted, or the, the y-axis, sorry, like, the one that goes up and down. So down is up and up is down. I'll see if I can get eight stars and see what Bowser looks like in first person. I mean, I know what he looks like, but I just want to see what it looks like fighting him in first person. Yeah. Okay, well, nor normally I can do this without any trouble, but again, it's kind of hard to do this with... There we go. Ah! Yeah, fuck it, I'm just gonna go the normal way. Wow, that isn't... Like, the, the turning... It's not so much the turning sensitivity, it's just like, if you so much as ever so slightly turn the analog stick from absolute upwards, you just go flying left or right, whichever direction you're like slightly going off on. It's weird. It's really difficult to like keep Mario walking exactly forwards. I kinda wish there was a bit of dead zone so you wouldn't, wouldn't just like fly off the handle like that. It's, it's fucking weird. But I'm constantly like tilting the, the analog stick left and right just to keep myself going relatively straight forward. I'm trying to like compensate. Ugh. I mean, the rest of this shouldn't be too hard now because I don't have man narrow bridges to watch out for. I can do the long jump in first person. Imagine doing the 120 star run like this? Yeah, no thanks. Also, I'm aware of that teleporting spot that I went by, but I just wanted to see if I could go all the way up the mountain. The I wanted to see if I could go up all the way up the mountain without cheesing it, and I did. So there we go. Right, now let's fight King Babom. Alright, that's two. Yeah. There 
There we go. No problem. They're now starting to hack Super Mario 64 DS with cool stuff. May have to check that out next Mario Day. I love how the camera just completely fucking goes ape shit when I pick up a star. Right, let's see if I can go back up the mountain relatively quick then. I'm gonna have to cheese it then. There we go. We're good. God, it's so hard to keep, like, Mario from, like, walking off ledges. Like, you have no idea how hard this is until you try it yourself. There we go. Any day now, Cooper the Quick, please. There he is. Right, let's check out Womp's Fortress then real quick. Actually, you know what? I want to check something else in first person before we do that. God, this is so weird. Just looking at Peach's castle in first person view. Because normally the camera is fixed so you don't see most of the room. You want a true VR experience? Yeah, if you want a true VR experience, get the Oculus Rift and play this and do Peach's Slide in 3D. In VR. The funny thing is, I missed that one up most of the time, but I somehow got it in first person. See if I can get that sub 21 second star. Since I'm going for 8 stars. There we go, I got it. 24.4, or 20.4. There we go. I love how, like, every time the camera just goes completely fucking bonkers. Right, so let's do Womp's Fortress next. I think it's, um, it's not that one. It's this one. Yeah. <laughs> 
Again, this is wheel just playing Mario 64 in this fashion. And I, I couldn't imagine somebody, like, playing 120 stars with this. I'm sure somebody has done it, but that somebody's not going to be me. Oof. Oh, fuck! That's, that's how that analog sensitivity really fucks you over. I don't think it's the emulator, I think it's just how the ROM hack is programmed. Because Mario doesn't like fucking turn 180 degrees like that so easily. Otherwise. Thankfully this boss has a bit of a cheese to it, so when he tries to womp you, ground pound in midair, and you go right through his body and hit his back. So I'm just going to rely on that. Just in the interest of getting things, like just keeping things moving along because I want to get these next two stars relatively quickly, so yeah. Right, we'll get one star in Jolly Roger Bay and one star in whatever the ice world is called, just so we can see these worlds before we do Bowser's level. Oh, this doesn't, this doesn't, uh, work properly. Like, the camera is constantly looking forward even if I'm, like, swimming down or up. Like, the camera doesn't, like, compensate for that, so... I mean, if I, if I hold the, the C button down or up, I can at least see what's below me, but it's kind of awkward to do that. When are you going to do Bowser's Inside Story? Um, I would like to do that eventually, but I don't really have a, an ETA for that one. Funny you should mention that, I've been doing spring cleaning and I was going through all my 3DS games and... I had a couple of 3DS games that I've never opened before that I didn't realise I had. Like, I've got Zelda Triforce Heroes, like... I don't, I don't think anyone plays that one anymore. Getting a couple extra coins for my health there. Oh, those coins. I forgot what the sequence is. It like back, left, right, bottom. Yeah, that's what it is. But yeah, I had that, um, I had Zelda Triforce Heroes. I also had one of the Sonic Boom games on 3DS, which I've never played before. And no, it's not that shitty one that everybody talked about a few years ago, like Rise of Lyric, it's not that one. I think it's called Sh Sonic Boom and the Shattered Crystal, which apparently is not too bad. 
if I ever play a portable Sonic game in the future, I think I would play Sonic Rush because I haven't played that game since it first came out and that game's got like an excellent soundtrack. This is the Snowland one, isn't it? Yeah, there is. Oh jeez. Yeah, so this one's a bit harder, but I'm just gonna go for the cheese strat on this one. Just so we can get that star sooner. Cool camera. I should look into some more Mario 64 ROM hacks in the future, because I know there's some interesting ones, like full, like some people made like complete Mario ROM hacks. Most of Kazzy's stuff is just like smaller like bite-sized experiences or like proof of concepts or like little ideas, like they're not like full things. I mean technically you can play this but the full game here is pretty much just the original game so technically he didn't make all this. The only thing he made was like the first person mod. Right, so I wonder how long it's going to take for me to get the Bowser like this. Just remember, when you've been playing Mario 64, going through Bowser's lair, this is what it looks like for Mario. This is what Mario sees. going to be some awkward walking through here. I don't care if I get hit by these things, just as long as I don't fall off a ledge. Good thing those little banisters are there to keep me from falling. Nah, I'm not going to go for that. Usually I do a long jump over to that platform, but I'm not going to risk it. How the fuck am I doing this, by the way? Oh. Okay, well there's no scripted introduction and Bowser's just standing there. So, I, I guess something with the first person programming kinda broke the boss fight. Nice face. Yeah, remember when 3D graphics used to look like this? Oh my god, I can see the inside of your fucking mouth. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, yeah, that's gonna be... That would probably be in the thumbnail somewhere. Now let's try grabbing him and see if I could... Oh, could you imagine doing this in first person? Alright, hold this thought for a second. I'm gonna look for that sound on my soundboard, the one that's most appropriate here. Where is it? Here it is. Wow, my head's spinning! Right, well I guess we're going to be here for the next 10 years because I don't know if I'll be able to actually accurately land the shot. Oh, now he's moving! Yeah. 
Right, I'll try three more throws. If I can't get it, then we'll just move on to the next game. Or until I die, I guess. Yeah. Almost. Kind of. I always found that sound effect of him, like, inhaling before he, like, breathes fire to be funny. Because it doesn't sound like a big giant turtle Koopa, say, like, making that noise. It just sounds like a stock cartoon sound effect. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me, but it is. There we go. Eventually. And then we get a nice shot of Bowser's ass. Oh yeah, speaking, speaking of ass! New AVGN tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to that. Right, well that was fun. Let's check out the next one. I was on that one for a while, but I just wanted to see if I could get to Bowser at least, so I did. Right, okay. Uh, load content, downloads. Next one is called Mario Infinity War. Oh. It's me, Mario! Hello! Oh. I don't know what that was just now. It wasn't my controller though, my controller's fine. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. Peach! Okay, so this one has the intro attached to it, so... Not sure where this is gonna go. So yeah, I'm not sure why this is called Mario Infinity War. Are we going to play as Thanos? Is that what the thing is? Or... Oh, we've got the Infinity Gauntlet. Right, okay. <laughs> so what, if I snap my fingers, all that like half of the enemies disappear? Whoa. Okay then, so I've got the ability to fly now. For no reason, other than just because. Apparently the Infinite Gong won't let you do that. Um... Why can't I get in there? Oh, so why is Lackey 2 stuck there? Oh right, I have to trigger this first, right, okay then. Um... But why, why is the door broken? Wait, did I just shoot a fucking star? I I don't get it. Why does Mario eat stars? Oh, so I'm gonna try different buttons. Oh, there we go. Half killed, half killed. Oh. Well, I've killed almost everything in this area. Oh, the cannon's been destroyed as well. Well, I, w I want to get into the, the level, what the fuck? Yahoo! 
No, I just can't get in. Let me try resetting this one, see if it works this time. Because I, I, maybe something went wrong there. Oh, do I have to watch the intro again? Yep. Can't can't skip. Yeah, I'm beginning to think this one's not even worth going through the intro again, but we'll try one more time, see if the door actually works. Oh, hey there, Green. Happy Mario Day. Like, I get what the gimmick of this one is, it's just I want to get into an actual level so I can see like enemies disappearing, but I'm not sure if I can even get through that first door. Okay, now it's working. Yeah, look at this lovely land full of living life, like enjoying their life to the fullest. They're all like ants to me now. I am inevitable. Right, so the tree is gone. Those Goombas are still there. Did the fence disappear? Oh shit, I killed the fence. <laughs> okay, then I'll take that. I grabbed the star and then fucking yeeted it out of existence. So yeah, all joking and memes aside, has anyone ever watched like the the most like the, the last two Avengers movies? Uh, Infinite Warfare and in, in, Infinite War and what was the other one? Endgame. They're pretty good if you haven't seen them, but. You probably want to like watch most of the other MCU movies before you watch them since you would need to like, you would not have any idea who most of the characters are up to that point without them. Oh, oh. um, excuse me? Okay, wh why am I turning into a cannon tube? What the fuck did I do? Every time I stop. Or oh, well, most of the time I stop, it just like spawns to where I am. Um. I think the teleporter's broken, guys. Also, there's the cannon to appear as well. Right, he's dead. Nobody, nobody here anymore. Just me. Is there any enemies left? Oh. No, I think I killed everybody there. I even killed... Hang on, did I? Yeah, I killed the platforms as well. Half killed. Yeah, every time you press the button, it basically kills half of the, the instances or like enemies or stuff in the level. Oh, so I can just do this. Wait, is that an enemy I see down there? Or is that a sign? Yeah. 
shit. Actually... <laughs> yep, we don't need three stars, I can just do that. Fantastic. Right, let's see if this baby penguin is one of the lucky ones. 50-50 chance that he lives. Right, okay, that's one. Can, can you survive again? Wow, he's still alive after that. Like, um, 50%... Wait a minute, I can't math correctly, but a lot of people or, or enemies or stuff have died. And the baby penguin's still around right third time. Hey, He's dead, Jim. I wonder if the, the mama penguin's still alive. Let's go check. No, no mama, mama penguin is dead. Also, what the fuck is going on here? Did I just yeet the fucking whole building out of existence? I think I did. I mean, it's still... the hitbox is still there, but... Oh yeah, this thing, um... I don't know what that does, I'm gonna try that on an enemy. Let me leave the level and come back. I'm gonna try kicking a star at someone and see what happens. Let me do it at Womp's Fortress. Okay, so it's just a projectile attack. Suppose that's one way to kill something. Fuck. Yeah. Let me try something real quick. If you hold down the A button, you go up for even longer. fly off into the sunset. Right, let me try the next one now. If you want to do that, that would be great, thanks. Just send them, like, on DM. On uh, Discord. Right, okay, so let's load up the next game in this list. I've still got a lot of these to go. I don't know if I'll do all of them tonight. Okay, so that was Mario Infinity War. Next one is Mario's Mansion. Oh, this one doesn't even have a title screen to it. Mm -hmm. Luigi's Diary, October 29th, 21, 22pm. I've been locked in this house for six days now. I can't get out. I keep meeting ghosts in this house, but and but up until today, they were, on, they were only playing with me. Today I saw a monster. Can you guys see this? Yeah. I managed to escape it, but I'm not sure how long I can keep going. The door locked behind me, and it won't let me out until I collected all eight red pieces. I'm writing this entry to save anyone the possibility of entering this house. Turn around now! So I have to look for eight red coins then? There's one. I'm expecting some spoops. Some jump scares, maybe. Maybe we'll see that piano. Yep, I can hear him. Oh shit! Oh god, he kills me in one shot! 
Right, I kind of see how this works. You've got to avoid him while collecting the red coins. I don't know if I'll complete this, but we'll give it a few shots. So the music and sound effects indicate how close he is to you, and you've just got to, like, avoid him. I'll skip the I'll skip the earlier versions of the same stages if that's okay. I only want to play like the latest version of each stage. Oh fuck! I didn't know he was up there. I guess the metal doors I cannot open right now. Uh oh. Oh! I was trying to hide under the table, it doesn't work. Yep, there he is. No fucking idea where I am right now. Oh, we're back out here again. Is there a red coin in here? No? Okay then. What was the point in that room exactly? Oh jeez. Um. Wow, that was a very long animation. So they just had a bunch of like jump scares and cheap shit, basically. No red coins in there. I think I see something up there. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like being chased by down by Nemesis. Oh yeah, if anyone's wondering, I'm not going to pick up that remake. I'm pretty sure it's going to be cool and all, but I would like to play through the remake of 2 first, which I was going to do at one point, but for a number of reasons I was unable to like properly play that game. Mainly the Nuvo on PC was like causing issues for me. Like if, rem if you remember me trying to stream that game back when Denovo was on it, uh, the game did not run very well, like, it was dropping a lot of frames. Also, we're in the bathroom now. Tuh. The ghosts that just randomly pop out remind me of those ghosts that you see on Pumpkin Hill, like in Sonic Adventure 2. They just, like, pop out of nowhere. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh lord, he coming. I didn't read this actually. Luigi's Diary, October 26th, 2122. I investigated the stage hall today and felt as though there was a gaze on my shoulder. Later today, I found the fifth red piece and realised that I... that where the stair was coming from. 
There was a giant ghost hiding in that room and now he's patrolling the second floor. Right, so yeah, probably won't get all eight red coins, but let's see if I can... Oh, fuck. Nope. Let's see if I can get maybe one more red coin. There we go. gonna catch me. You know, I should see what's on the second floor actually since I haven't checked that yet. Where is the second floor? Oh, here's the stage. Oh fuck. I forgot which way it was back to the lobby. I'm trying to look for that. Okay, this room's different. Oh wait, this is the lobby. Right, okay then. I mean, I found four of the red coins so far. Oh, so what the fuck is this boo doing? Oh, he's impeding my ability to move. Right, okay then, cool. Yeah. Thanks, boo. Right, okay then, next game. Let me just, uh, let me just, uh, get this ready. I'm terrible at setting this up, one moment. Uh, please, program, could you work? Download content, downloads. Next one is called Portal 3. Hello, Jumpman. Tuh, <laughs> okay then. I've got a fairly good idea as to what this is all about. Hello, yep. Man. Are you confused about your location? You've been sleeping in the science facility for minus 17 years. Oh, my variable to store years may have overflown. I'm right here, on the floor. Yes, that little ball. I used to look much more impressive. But a test went wrong. You need to do a few things for me so I can get back to form. Please jump through this hole right here. All right. It would appear you are stuck here. Please use the portal device you are equipped with. Press the C up button twice to zoom in. Press keypad left or right to shoot a blue or put a portal on every wall. Why, why, am I, why am I firing things without actually pressing the button? Oh, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on. Just a minute. I think I know what's going on. I think my analog stick is being bound to the analog stick and the, the D-pad at the same time. Let me try to fix that real quick. Just a minute. I'm just going to throw... Just gonna throw this up while I try to fix that. Actually, does, does that even show up? Yeah, it does. You can't put a portal on every wall. Only the bright colored ones will work. Yeah, don't mind the voice there. I'm trying to fix bindings right now. You'll have to bear with me. 
Now let's see controls. Right, okay, I think I fixed it. Quick menu, resume. Right, okay, let's turn that back on. Right, there we go. And then I can use the D-pad to do that individually. Right, cool. Right, so yeah, it's, it's pretty much Portal. Oh look, it's Companion Cube. Wait, what the fuck does that do? Oh, I see. Right, okay. I, I see how this works. Right, so... You can't put a paw through on every wall. Only Shit. the bright colored ones will work. You will need to use the switch and the weighted cube here. Trying to get that companion cube to land on the switch. You can't put a paw through on every wall. Only the bright colored ones will work. You will need to use the switch and the weighted cube here. I think I got it. There we go. I think I need to triple jump up there. Or just do that. You can't put a paw through on every wall. Only the bright colored ones will work. You will need yeah. to very good. This was always every test subject's favorite. Your portals will keep your speed. Hold A when going upwards to keep going upwards. Can you solve this one too? I think I see how this works. Oh, come on. Yeah, I think your momentum carries over, so I'm just like trying to use that. But I don't know if it works like this in this game. Let me try putting that orange a little bit over there. There we go. Oh, no, it doesn't work like that. Right, okay. So, wait, what, what, what is GLaDOS telling me exactly? Hold A to keep going upwards? What? I... what? I, I don't understand. What am I supposed to do? If anybody knows. Like, I know how portal works, I just don't know how this portal works. Because what I thought was the solution is anything but. Can I place a portal all the way over there? I'm trying to hit that light spot there. Maybe hold down the jump button. I guess I'll try that. Yeah. 
Alright, GLaDOS, you can stop now, please. Ah, okay, you do hold the jump button. We need to make a detour, so we have to go down, I guess. Hang on, let me try putting a... Oh, that does work, right, okay, cool. We are almost at the exit. You will collect stars for me once we are out of here. <laughs> the stars are a lie. The main lab room. We can find a bunch of stars around the facilities and the chambers here. Please enter the paintings or the chamber doors to get around the facility. You know, I should stream Portal sometime, like Portal and Portal 2. Those are like some excellent games from Valve. I would say back when they used to make games, but they're making a new game for the virtual reality thing, whatever that's called, the Valve Index. Back when they used to make games for none VR devices, I guess. Heh, <laughs> I like that it's got a robot voice. I- oh, shit. Oh, is that the... the turret thing? Oh no, it's just a laser. I don't know if the turret is in this, like the little turrets that, like, you knock over. Oops. Ah, oh, fuck. That was not the intent. I was trying to move the companion cube over to that switch. Why can't I put a portal down here? Yeah. Oh, come on! Yeah, they haven't quite programmed this well, have they? I barely touched that and I got fucking sent into like oblivion there. I'll grab one star and then I'm gonna move on to the next thing because... Try trying to work with this portal thing. It's cool and all, but yeah. It's not something I want to do a full playthrough of, obviously. Got a bunch of other stuff I want to get to. There we go. Yeah, let's be careful not to touch those portals this time. Oh, good. Thank you. 
Ah, okay. That's interesting. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, fuck. The stream is lagging. Oh, my internet's dying. Right, hang on. Stream's gonna go offline for just a minute. Right, okay, I'm back now. Sorry about that. My internet decided to not play nice with me there, so I had to restart the router. Please let me know if that happens again, because I've got a feeling that's going to happen again. In fact, before we do anything else... Just going to make some adjustments on my end so I can actually see what's going on behind this window. Right, okay. Yeah, so I think I'm done with this uh, Portal 1. It's kind of cool and all that, but yeah, let's move on to the next one. So let me do that real quick. Right, so let's see. Next one. Load content, downloads. Right, next one. Um, I'll, I'll just read out the letters. SM3DW64, which I'm assuming means Super Mario 3D World 64. Version 2. So yeah, again, that's Super Mario 3D World 64 2. Or <laughs> Super Mario 3D World 64 version 2. That's a mouthful. It's me, Mario! Here we go! It's a different Mario sound effect there. Is that, is that the joke? Is it just like him saying, let's -a go for everything? Or here we go? Dear Mario, let's -a go! Or here we go, or whatever. Can't even do that, can't even make jokes. I'm not funny. You don't need to tell me I know. I've never been funny. I don't know if there's any actual level hacks to this one, but I guess we'll find out in a second. So I don't know what's different yet, other than just hearing him say, here we go. But yeah, maybe the bomb battlefield looks different. Play as Mario, play as Luigi, play as Toad, play as Peach, play as Rosalina. Right, so it's all the characters from Super Mario, Super Mario 3D World. Uh, let's play Luigi then, sure. Ah! Ella's real. Ella's real. He was always real. So other than this, what is different? Like, I thought there was going to be like Mario 3D World levels, but I, I don't see any. I mean, it's cool you can play as Luigi in the other ones. I'll try the other characters shortly. Yahoo! They should add Yoshi as a playable character in Mario 64 because, you know, you can you can play as him in the DS version. Is that the old Luigi voice? Oh yeah, the one from Mario Kart 64, I think. Yeah! Fuck it. I like how low pitch that was. Anyway, let's try Toad. Yeah, that's like the old Toad voice. I'm not sure what the consensus is for everybody else, but personally, I like the old to the Toad voice better, like the older one. I hate the modern Toad voice. It's like. Ugh! Ugh! 
That's what the new one sounds like to me. It's like awful. Like when did this start using the new one? Was it like for Super Mario Advance 2 or something? Like one of the modern Game Boy Advance games? I mean, the old one is annoying as well, but it's still... It's kind of endearing, it's kind of charming. It kind of fits them. It's just that the new one that they used from, like, Mario Sunshine onwards sounds awful. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. It was like, yeah, you know what we could... You know, you know what would be the most annoying noise in the world? Ah! Also, the ROM hack that I'm going to mention is not in this pack, but does anyone remember a ROM hack called Re Super Releasio 64? I think I streamed that at one point, like a couple years ago. Also, Toad runs faster than Mario as well, which I guess makes sense because Toad is a faster character in 3D worlds. Spin! Yeah, I guess you could look up Super Releaseo 64. I'm the best! Right, so let's check out Peach, then we'll check out Rosalina. T-posing. I know that's a gliding thing, but wh why is she T-posing as well? So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like also the old like Mario Kart slash Mario Party like some uh, sound effects that they're being used right now. I wonder what Rosalina sounds like then. I guess I guess they just use like. The ones from the new game. Also, why are the bombs red? Like, why are their feet and tips red? I, I don't understand. I like the noise she makes when she hits a wall. Good noise. Alright, let's check out Rosalina super fast then. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure where those voice sound effects came from, but I'm guessing it's from 3D World, perhaps, or like Mario Galaxy. Maybe Mario Kart 8, or... Wait, what was the one that Rosalina first appeared in? Was it Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS? 
I don't know where, where, where these stone baits are from. Right, well there you go then, that's um... I think these models are also like playable in Super Mario 64 Online, because I think I remember seeing this model, like someone else using this one. Right, okay then, let's uh, move on to the next game. In this list of games, let me just set it up for you. Right, so the next game is... Super Mario 64 Analog Stick? I don't know what that means, but we'll check that out and see what it's all about. It's me, Mario! I mean, doesn't Mario 64 already use an analog stick? I, I don't understand what this means. I guess we'll find out after this long and drawn out intro. See, I'm not sure why this intro is in some of these ROM hacks. Because there is like some of the ROM hacks where just Kazzy just like removes them completely, but then there's other ones that are here, so we just got to like watch it. And there's no skip button. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> right, so everything looks normal so far. Um, let's see. I mean, it works, like, the analog stick works, like, normal, so I'm, I'm not sure what's different here. Let me try going into a level and see what happens then. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, that was weird. Why was the camera behind the door? Yeah, this one, this one doesn't look like anything has changed, other than that one part with the... Like, the, other than that one part with the camera behind the door when I entered Peach's castle, everything looks normal. So I couldn't tell you what's different with this one, so... If I don't see any noticeable differences, I'm just gonna switch games. Yeah, I don't, I don't see anything different with this one whatsoever. All I know is it's got something to do with the analog stick, but I don't understand what. Yeah, right, okay then, so let's uh, do the next one then. I don't know why that was part of the collection, to be honest. Like, I, I don't know what any of these games are, I just know that they're all made by Kazzy. Right, okay then, so next one. Load content, downloads. Next game is called... Oh, this is a famous one. This is one that I think a lot of people have heard about. I've played this at some point, but I don't know if this one's different because it says version 2. This is Super Mario 64 Chaos Edition. This one's very well known. It's me, Mario. So, you you may have seen this at some point. Maybe I've streamed Chaos Edition, I don't know, but this is version 2, so I'm not sure what's different about this one. If you've never seen Chaos Edition before, uh, buckle up I guess. You're in for a wild ride. Shit will get weird very quickly once the game starts. Again, unfortunately, the intro is here, so I'm just gonna have to endure this. Whoa. Okay! Castle's... fucking discombobulating. I don't think I've ever seen that before in Chaos Edition. That's a new one for me. Oh look, we can, <laughs> we can see Mario already. Oh Jesus. Mario, are you okay? Do you need an exorcist? No, okay, well this is Super Mario 64 Chaos Edition. Also, the castle has stopped moving. At least the spiral, the spire has stopped moving. Let me turn the 
Hang on, let me turn the volume up, because you need to listen to some of the music that plays during Chaos Edition. Right, so Matt Mario just... it just runs backwards. And now we're at Signpost! I love this. You know, I'd be laughing my ass off right now, but I've heard this one before. Because again, I've played Chaos Edition at one point or another. I love how everything's just like, getting bigger, like around me, like all the doors are getting gigantic. Oh, hang on. Right, okay. Right, so let's try getting into a level now. This must be a sign of, what, of things to come. I see what you did there. Also, left and right was reversed there for a second. Right, so let's try getting a star. Oh, some flashing. Nope. Um. Oh shit. I, I think I softwalled. Maybe. Mario, please. Oh, there we go. I don't know what the fuck Mario was doing there, but he was- he stopped for a moment. Oh, come on. Also, the camera's taking a while to catch up to me. So if you don't know what Mario 64 Chaos Edition is, uh, the best way to describe it is every, I think like every 20 seconds or so, maybe every 10 seconds, the game will do something weird based off of a certain like subset of like instructions within the programming. It's difficult to explain but basically it corrupts itself every 10 seconds, but it has like a number of presets. So it'll do like certain things at certain times, but it's not like predictable, like it's random when it does stuff. And right now I'm sinking into the grounds. Oh fuck. <laughs> why, why, why is Mario doing that? Oh jeez. My acceleration is going through the roof right now. Whoa, Mario! He's gone. He's riding off into the sunset. <laughs> that was perfectly timed, that music. <laughs> Just got yeeted off to the fucking side there. Uh, are you okay, Mario? I think the game crashed. Yeah, they get the game crashed because the HUD froze there. Me, Mario. Hello. Do I have to watch that intro again because I didn't get a star? Okay, yep. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Right, while this is happening, I'm just going to take a quick drink of water. So. I'll be right back real quick. Right, so I'm gonna try getting that first star that's like gathered by the chain chomp just so we can like save the game and then see what else we can check out in Chaos Edition. That's assuming Mario's even there to begin with. 
Oh, he is. Yeah. He's just invisible. Um. Hello? Oh. Uh, what, what, what's going on? I, I don't understand what's happening right now. It feels like I'm moving like every couple seconds or every several moments. Ah, come on, Mario! Can you can you please? Okay, there we go. Yeah. I don't even know what Mario's doing right now because he's invisible. There we go. Finally. Right up. Come on, you know, it's time to go do Mario time. You know, since I brought that up, I started off the stream by playing that clip of the like Vinny dubbing over the end of like the Super Show credits theme. theme. But I've got another clip here that I'd like to show, so uh, where is that? Hang on. Yeah, so this one, um, I'm terrible at organising my OBS setup. Right, okay, so yeah, I've shown you this at the start of the stream. Here's another one. Where is it? There it is. So this one's called Mechio Time. Alright, that's enough of that. So yeah, I just wanted to share that real quick since I brought that up. Oh, what I saying again? Oh. The fuck is Lakitu doing right now? Right, so I'm going to try to grab that star over there just so that I can save the game. So that if I have to reset the game due to the game freezing, I won't have to, like, watch that intro again. Here we go. There we go. Oh my god! I think the game froze, but I think I also saved the game, so I think I get to keep that. Okay, that was creepy though. It's me, Mario. Hello. Oh, come on. Really? Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. May have to rely on save states for this one because that is kind of bullshit. I fucking saved the game. But at least the spiral's not falling apart this time. I wonder if anything else is like breaking right now. Is like Keith is just flying over everything. I can hear Mario making footsteps though. I like how the pipe just never shows up, but the pipe's just broken. Right, I think I'm invisible again. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Couldn't even see where I was going there. So did anyone hear about that thing that Nintendo announced today on their social media for Mario Day? They're doing like a weird collaboration with LEGO. 
I don't know what it is exactly, like, they've only teased it, they haven't, like, properly shown it off, but it's like, oh. Okay, well, I guess Mario is just, uh, swole now. But yeah, I'm, I'm assuming it's like a, just a line of like Lego toys with Mario, but I would I would love to see them make like a Lego Mario video game. You know how like Lego makes video games for like other IPs, but I don't think we're gonna get that, sadly. Oh my god. And now the camera's on its side. Yeah, I think we need to hire a new Lucky too. This one's fucking incompetent. Oh jeez, what's going on? What the fuck, did, did I just get yeeted back to the starting point? I hope that chain chomp is still gone. Oh god, I'm like tilting my head because I can't fucking see this properly. Yeah, it's gone. Right, okay. Step right up! There we go. Thank god the game didn't crash that time. I suggest Mario 64 versus Twitch. I did that one, I think about half a year ago. I think the vote for it is on my YouTube channel, actually. I've also checked out that Mario, uh, Mario 64 online, I've checked that. Right, so everything's normal so far, I'm just waiting for shit to happen. When Mario's walking like this, the ground pound is instantaneous. Like, there's no, like, wind-up animation for it. Okay, never mind. Now it's doing the wind-up. Okay, well, I just, I just lost health for no reason now. I'm still losing health. <laughs> Okay, I'm just losing health non-stop, what the fuck? Ah, oh, fuck! I thought I could be clever there and grab that star before the fucking health bar disappeared. Oh my god, fish eye lens. Yeah, I forgot there was a lot of good stuff that happens in Chaos Edition. A lot of good and weird shit. Also, here's a little secret cheat, kind of. Oh, oh! Okay, that was not what I was trying to do there, but I'll take that. I didn't know Mario was gonna fucking jump a million feet into the air when I tried the long jump. Do you know what I should do for a laugh sometime? I should just do a stream of like a Mario 64 speedrun, like pretend that I can speedrun and just see how quick I can beat the game in one sitting. Because I do not speedrun video games, I'm not that kind of person. Um, I don't think the game's crashed, but I'm waiting for Mario to actually land. Can I hear Mario's voice in my left ear? Game over. Game over. Game oh. Over. Game over! Boing! Boing. 
I, I couldn't save the game. What the fuck? <laughs> it sounds like Mario's being infected by the coronavirus right now. Oh my god, he's like five times the speed. a good start then. Oh yeah, I'll easily get sub 21 seconds. Oh, never mind. the door. Can I open this one? Nope. None of, the, none of the doors are working now. Right, maybe now that I'm stopping, like that I've stopped flashing, maybe now I can open the doors. Oh god, this is so, this is so disorienting right now. What the fuck is going on with the music? Oh, is the music going slower? Is that what's happening? Yeah, these doors are still broken. Am I just stuck here? Whoa, okay then. And now I've got a Koopa shell. Right, let me try going into Peach's Secret Slide again, because I want to get that other star. Again, I'm going to try getting to Bowser with this one. Oh, okay then. Oh, that's not a, that's not a flying cat. Shit. I got tricked. Good jeep. Um, Mario, are you okay? Sometimes when I get knocked on my ass, I can't stand up for like five seconds. <laughs> Just open the door to see what's inside and I shut it again. There we go. Controls are a bit funky right now. M Mario, please. Trust me when I'm saying I'm trying to get in there. There we go. Oh god, I can't steer. Oh, I can't steer. Okay, now I can steer. And I died. A is B and B is A now. So the A button punches and the B button jumps. And we got coin vomit. 
the controls are also reversed, like the analog controls. And now I can't move. It certainly is the Chaos Edition. <laughs> I like how even though I'm stuck, Mario's still blinking. Okay, now the controls are back to normal. But bumping into walls just yeets me about. There we go. At least that boo is gone now. The boo masquerading as a fucking flying cat. Oh, that's a big coin. Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> oh god, I lost my head. What is that attached to Mario's pelvis? Is that is that is a giant mushroom? Is that like a sign? I think that's like a sign that's attached to my body. Why are some of these coins gigantic? Also, why am I going very slow? Yeah, I think that is a sign attached to my body. And now it's turned back to my head. So my head really didn't disappear, it just turned into a signpost for a few minutes. We're back again. <laughs> I think I turned into low poly Maru there for a second. Just for a brief moment. So my head's missing, I've got a signpost attached to my body, I'm gigantic, and I've got a Koopa shell that's invisible. It's a royal flush. crashed. Right, well, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to bother going for 8 stars with this one, because I would, I would like to move on to the next uh, game in this selection. So we will just, uh... Let me just, uh... Hold now for a second so I can switch to the next game. It's me, Mario! Right, okay, let me just uh, quickly set this up on my ends. Right, next game. Right, so that was Chaos Edition, the next one. Yeah, I don't know if I'll get to all of these tonight, because I would like to do some Mario Maker 2 within the next hour. But let's see how much I can do within that time. Next one, Super Mario 64 Last Impact version 1.2. Oh, this one has a custom title screen. And there we go, Casia Manuar. Oh, is this one like a full game? Right, well, I'll check this out for a few minutes, see what it's like. Hello, I can delete your old game saves for you. After you've talked to me, I'll show you a menu. But if you want to delete a file, just press... Okay then. Right, thank you. I'm cool, thanks. I just want to start the game. Oh, look at this. I think that's Paper Mario music that's playing right now. Oh, there's Zelda music. Peach is in trouble, I guess I've got to go rescue her now. Where is she? There she is. Can I talk to them? 
We must protect the princess, their heads look vulnerable. Wait until they bow down to bite and then you jump on their heads. Okay then. Oh, do I have the ground pound? Fuck. Even more. I think this is Majora's Mask music we're play that's playing right now. I'm not, I'm not doing very good at this. Okay, wh why is that not working? Oh, there we go. I don't know why that didn't work the first five times, but okay. Thank you, Mario. I feel danger coming. Mario, you have to gather the stars to protect the Mushroom Kingdom. Right, okay, then I guess I'll go look for some stars. Maybe you can tell me where to find one. These things usually live on the moon. Mario, something is dangerous. Something dangerous is going on. We'll need the power star for sure, or the star power. Alright, well thanks for giving me the advice to the, bo the boss I just defeated. Do not consume fuzzies. <laughs> okay then. Is this where all the fuzzies are then? Course 1. Touch fuzzy, get dizzy. Okay, well this looks pretty cool so far. I like the, the presentation on this one. Yeah, so there's <laughs> 3D fuzzies. Okay, so this looks like this might actually be a full game. Sadly, I'm not going to be able to spend much time on this one, but let's get a couple of stars and then we'll move on to the next one. Yeah, I wonder what happens if I touch the fuzzies, actually. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Like, the, the fucking terrain is moving and everything, that's kind of weird. I mean, it's cool, but yeah, it's also kind of weird how he, how he got that to work. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh! Mario, please. There we go. Okay then. <laughs> well, let's go back into Fuzzy Field. Little rabbit lost. Oh look, it's Mips. Oh yeah, this music is from 3D World, isn't it? Yeah, I couldn't place where the song came from, but I remember now. I think Mips is that way. Oh, it's those guys, I forgot what they're called. The little spiky guys from Yoshi's Islands. I don't remember the names of like half of the Mario enemies in the Mario series, to be honest. Oh, 
Tap taps. I bet these tap taps took her son. If you want to beat them, try luring them into the swampy area. Right, okay then. So I guess that's my objective then, just get them in here. I guess once I defeat all of them, that cage will open. And then I can get the star. Thank you, you saved our child. We want we want you to take this star to show you how thankful we are. Also keep in mind I don't think Kazia Menuar's uh, first language is English, so there might be a little bit of English here and there. Which is fine. Go up the giant tree. Right, okay then. Right, so I'll need to go inside that door and then climb the tree for the, in the inside. It'd be cool if I go inside the tree and then it just looks like the Deku tree from the inside. But I've got a feeling that's not going to be the case. Okay, so what song is this then? Yeah, I have no idea what this song is, so if anyone wants to fill me in, feel free. I feel like I should know this one, but it's kind of hard to... I'm, I'm, it's not... it doesn't sound familiar to me. Yep, ba ba. It's funny how the custom songs are still using like the Mario 64 sound font, so you can still hear like the Mario 64 instruments being used. There we go. <laughs> ah! Try to double jump. Okay, well, well, this is uh, not not exactly easy. I'm trying. Stop doing that, Mario, please. Might be a Zelda theme, possibly. Camera's not doing me any favors. There we go. There we go. Yeah, the collisions were a little bit weird there on the way up. Like sometimes I just get knocked off the ledge, or other times I just get like bumped off of something that I don't see. Find the lonely monkey. 
Okay, but this one doesn't have an intro to it, so I'm just gonna have to look for him. Also, I think I recognise these platforms. I think they're taken from Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. Because I've seen that pattern before. I wonder what this is. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that that's really cool, actually. Well, I found a different star, so yeah, fuck it, let's just take that one. I'm guessing that was star number four or five. Oh, something's happening now. I think I got enough stars to move on to the next part of the game. Again, we'll move on to the next, like, Mario 64 in a minute, but... I'm quite liking this one, despite its, like, weird issues. Very ambitious. Like, most of the other ones are, like, just smaller little, like, side projects. This one feels like he spent a lot of time on it. So where, where was that boat that I just saw right now? Is that it? So I'm assuming this is the next level, so let's check it out real quick. Yoshi was back there, was he? I must have missed that. Where was he? Was he next to Peach or something? Oh, so I'm stuck down here. Oh, there's stairs. Oh, so I see Lakitu just sitting there. <coughs> Excuse me. Lakitu Bros cutting in with a live update, uh, a live update on Mario's progress. Actually, never mind, I won't be following you on this journey, but I wish you the best of luck anyway. He was with Peach. Oh, you're right, he is there. The toad, the toad turned into fucking Yoshi. Hey Mario, I came here to find some yummy stuff to... to take to our Yoshi island. Yoshi hyphen island. Can you help me find some tasty stuff? Just put it in that basket. I think I saw a peach sitting somewhere. Like a... a peach fruit. Not like Princess Peach. Oh wait, no, sorry. I, th I thought that was like a fruit that I saw in the distance. That's a button. Right, let's go on that boat then. I'm assuming that will take me to the next area. Are we going to Delfino Isle? Uh, nope. That's... where is that? Sunset Islet. Labour in the Lighthouse. Right, so we'll do this one more star and then we'll check the next Mario 64. Oh, that's cool. I can see... I can, I can see the star being projected from the lighthouse, like the, the beacon. What song is this from? I feel like I should know this one. Isn't this a relaxing place? I hope you enjoy your stay as much as I do. I'm assuming this game also has 100 coin stars like Mario 64. Right, let's go inside the lighthouse now. Ah. 
Fuck. Yeah, it's gonna help the, like, platform here. If there was a way for, like, the camera to stay still at certain spots, like, you know how, like, when you do a 3D platformer, sometimes the camera, like, goes to a certain spot and then looks over. The... It's kind of, I, I don't know, I don't know what the term for it is, but it's like... You go to a certain point and the camera, like, stays still. And then looks over a point where you can, like, control properly. Like, this ROM hack doesn't seem to do that, unfortunately. Oh. Got squashed there for a minute. Where's that sound on my soundboard? fell there for a second. There we go. I was gonna play one of those Spongebob like 2000 years later or something if I missed the rotation there. Oh shit, there's another thing happening. Right, well I'm gonna stop there for now and I'll check out a couple more Mario 64 games and let's see. Yeah, right, okay then, so... Let's see how many of these Mario 64 ROM hacks I've got left because I might actually save some of these for another day. Because I've been... I've been I thought I would have gotten through all of them by now, but yeah, let me just quickly check what we've got here before I decide whether or not to continue. Because I might do some Mario se uh, Super Mario Maker in just a minute. Let's see, load content downloads. So what was that one called again? It was called Lost Impact. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 ROM hacks left. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We're going to save the rest of these for another night. I would like to go through them all, but... I think there's too much to go through in a single setting, it seems like, so I'll put a pin in this for now. We'll do these other 11 maybe later this week. But I hope you guys enjoyed these Mario 64 ROM hacks. That last one was a good one to end off on. It had some problems here and there, like some bugs, but very ambitious. A lot of work went into that one, clearly, so quite like that one.